Hey guys! So today we are making one of the most beloved fairy tale characters of all time. Humpty Dumpty. I made him in kawaii form and I really like the way that this cake turned out. Everybody knows the fairy tale rhyme, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Why you guys wanted me to build him on a wall so that he could die, I will never know. So my fairy tale rhyme goes like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on the floor, he lived to 102. The end. Can you believe that I didn't create this with an egg cake pan? I created this with three dome cakes. I'm proud of this cake because of the structure of the dome cake, so let's get started. My name is Rebecca Romaine Stamos, and I was the best mystique in all of the X-Men movies that ever were. Now to create this cake, I am using three dome cakes. For the bottom of my egg, I am cutting that dome cake just in half, so two equal layers. Now for the top, I'm taking the second two dome cakes and cutting them into four layers. This is hard, I had to remove the bottom, then cut out another layer, and then remove that layer, and then cut out another layer from what's left of the cake. I just repeated that process over with the other dome cake. Thrilling, isn't it? This is Oscar worthy. Nope, it's not. I don't know. I don't even think it's Food Network worthy. I am gonna be using a, my pipe stand. So I'm taking a PVC pipe and I'm placing it into the middle of all of my cakes just so that there's room for the pipe when I start stacking them. Then I got to stacking. So I'm adding a little bit of icing just to make sure that the cakes don't move. Then I added my bottom dome cake. So the one that I cut in half goes on the bottom. There's going to be some buttercream in between each layer of cake and I am using a vanilla cake, but I'm pretending that it's an exotic flavor. Dolce de leche, oh gosh. I don't actually have recipes for anything. That's why I just put vanilla extract. I'm so basic. Now because there are gonna be a lot of layers, I'm adding a pipe coupler into the middle of this cake just so that it doesn't weigh down the first two layers of cake. I'm just adding a piece of cardboard so that the support area is a lot larger. So this is a dome cake that's been cut into four pieces, and this is the other dome cake that's been cut into four pieces. Now instead of stacking them like this, like one right on top of the other, I'm gonna take these layers and then sort of like stack them like this. You see? So that way it gives this cake height. That was the idea. This is the test and also the final product because I didn't get to do it again. But I thought that it would work, so that's what we're gonna do. Then goes the top of my first dome cake. Buttercream, then the top of my second dome cake. Now I cut the dome cakes into four equal slices, but then I realized that I didn't need three layers. I didn't need this layer, this layer, or this layer. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a weird thing to explain. So I needed both of the bottoms. I needed the third layer of the first dome cake and then I needed both of the tops. So it was more like this. <laughs> this is a tutorial, you guys. This is how I'm explaining this. Okay, do you understand? I hope you understand. So you don't need all four layers. You need these three layers and then you stack them like this. <laughs> <laughs> Remember buttercream in between each layer. Oh gosh. So I gave my cake a chrome coat and I realized it was still too tall. So instead of these five layers, you actually only needed four. So you needed, how? Hold on, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. They all look the same. How did I do this? Two bottoms, a middle, and then a top. I heard her say that, I think I heard her say that. Now I gave my entire cake a chrome coat and then I placed it into the fridge to set for about 45 minutes. While my cake was in the fridge, I was watching one of my favorite shows, Planet Earth on Netflix. So originally it was a BBC like documentary. National Geographic did a version of it where Sigourney Weaver was the one who was doing all the voiceover. Her voice is so much more soothing than the old man that BBC has. <laughs> but Netflix has a BBC version, so no Sigourney Weaver. No matter who's doing the voiceover, it's still one of the most 
beautiful documentaries about our planet. Even just like the shots of the glaciers and all of the crystals that are underneath in the caves, the majestic movements of the animals, it's beautiful. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Now let's get back to this cake. Now after I took my cake out of the fridge and there was more stability, I took my knife and started to carve away to get more of an egg shape. Carved some at the bottom and made sure that the top came to a point just a little bit more. Then I added another coat of buttercream and I call this a fix it coat. It's not a complete second coat, but it fixes all of my mistakes. Now, if you want to see more Easter content, then I've got three videos that you might like. I made some pretty cool marble Easter eggs, some Pokemon Easter eggs, and an Easter bunny. But the only thing I don't like about the eggs is that they're not standing, which is why I came up with this system. So go, go check it out. Check, 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 check it out. There is going to be a layer of fun on top of this and I wanted to make sure that my buttercream was completely smooth. So I wet some gloves with a little bit of water and just ran my hands across the surface of the cake to make sure that the buttercream was smooth. And I also made it a little bit wet so that the fondant would stick better. Then I added my fondant. Now this piece of fondant is not big enough to cover the entire cake. And the reason for that was because I knew he was gonna be wearing clothes. And I also knew that the fondant was not gonna work when I started going down towards the bottom. It never works. Like it scrunches up too much or it like breaks and I was like, I'm not gonna deal with that. So we're gonna cover up to where I know his shirt's gonna be and that's it. So I worked my fondant all the way down the bottom of the cake. And then using a paring knife, I just cut a straight line out where his shirt would be and pulled away the rest of the fondant. I wanted his clothes to look like they were on top of the white piece of fondant. So I'm adding a layer of fondant that I'm just wrapping around the sides. There was a place on the egg where I screwed up. You see right there? So I decided to cut my seam right underneath that mess up. Pretty good that I only had one mess up. Usually I have a lot. If anyone has tips on how to cover an egg properly without any mess ups, then let me know in the comments. Now I pushed my fondant underneath my cake with some fondant tools and just cut away the excess fondant. Now with a paintbrush, I'm just brushing on some magic sauce and gluing on a very thin layer of navy blue fondant to create Humpty Dumpty's pants. Now the one seam I created for the pants, I placed right underneath my mistake. Same thing with his shirt. I'm using some turquoise fondant to create Humpty Dumpty shirt. Oh, where is it? Hold on. I was eating popcorn when I was designing this and I decided that the color scheme I was gonna use <laughs> is gonna be the colors that are on the bag of popcorn. I bought this at Costco, that's why it's so big. The navy blue on the skinny pop lettering is what I used for his pants. And then the sea salt color was what I used for his shirt. So I'm cutting away the extra fondant and then I added some collar detail. I wanted him to be wearing a collar because I really wanted to give him a bow tie. And then I gave him some spots. I thought a white egg would be too plain looking so I decided to give him some like blue spots on top. Almost like a robin's egg except the robin's egg is blue, right? With brown spots. And this is white with blue spots. Our robins, hold on, I don't even, I just, I don't even know if that's right. Let me look that up. Oh yeah, I was right. Now I'm giving him some pink cheek details on the side and then adding on two black circles to create his eyes. I'm giving him two hands with black fondant and I wanted one hand to be like resting on the ground and the other hand like this. Hey! He just saw like his best friend that he hadn't seen in like a couple years. Oh my gosh! Like that, kind of like that. <laughs> now using the sea salt blue, that's what I'm gonna call it. I gave him some sleeves, just wrapped them around his arm, and then added some logs of navy blue fondant to create his legs. Now I gave him like really red shoes. And the red that I'm using is the red in the middle of the popcorn. I wanted them to look like classic Converse. Now after I gave him his shoes, I added on a very, very cute little smile. I'm gonna change that because I don't think it looks happy enough. And then I added some catch lights to his eye. Last but definitely not least, I gave him a red bow of fondant. Yes, I feel like every time I see a picture of Humpty Dumpty, he has like a bow. 
Then I changed his mouth, so he looks so happy, look. Hey, I survived. The first one was like, okay, I'm having a good day. And the second one was like, hey, I didn't die. I made a better decision for my life. And now I'm living to 102. Hey! Now I know a lot of you wanted me to make it where he cracked his shell and he was like in pain. That is so mean, but I did it for you guys. So on the back of the cake, I created all of the features that were on the front. Gave him some legs, shoes, the collar, a bow, and then I started to create his face. So I wanted him yelling, like screaming in pain because his entire head's gonna be cracked and they didn't give him any like pain medications and so he's just in a lot of agony. His eyes are squinting from the pain, but he's still looking cute with that cheek detail. Then I took a paring knife and just started to cut some cracks into his egg. When I was doing it, it was pretty cool, but now that I'm watching the footage back, how sad is that? Now I'm painting on some yellow into the cracks, uh, kind of to resemble like the yolk. Like the yolk sack in the middle is like broken and now it's coming out of the cracks in his head. Why would you, you guys, sometimes you guys. And voila, my extremely sad Humpty Dumpty cake was complete. Now I love the way that this cake turned out. Plan on making at least two or three more egg cakes just so that I can finalize the process of making an egg cake from dome cake molds. But this looks fantastic. I love the kawaii eyes. I love the smile, the bow tie. Even the spots on the top of the egg look super cute. And as sad and as painful as this looks, it still looks pretty cute, doesn't it? All of the egg yolk dripping down his face. Oh, gosh. You may be in pain, but we're loving it. Bunch of sadists. Now make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all of the videos I post. I post probably like two or three videos weekly now. That's the goal, but now that I said it, there's probably only gonna be one video this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon.